Hi, I'm Laura, and I'm going to show you how to make a Lullaby Wrap Bracelet today. Take all the materials out of your Lullaby box and start by laying them out. You'll find two strands of leather, one black, one natural. The black will be a double wrap, and the natural will be a single wrap. So, according to the measurements on your uh, tutorial, lay out the first black strand and the natural strand. The shorter strand of full diamonds goes in the center of the leather, like this. The first thing we do for the single strand bracelet is double the leather, snip off the ends into a point so that they'll easily fit through the buttonholes. Like that. Pull out enough leather so that we can tie the end in a knot. Double knot. And you might want to use your craft pliers to help you pull the knot tightly. Okay. The next thing we do is we take a piece of our fall diamonds and we position it between the two pieces of leather. We take our piece of wire and make sure that you cut the wire into manageable sized pieces, maybe um, 12 to 16 inches each. And we tie, we make a knot in the, in the small wire. And you knot the beginning, at the beginning you knot the diamonds onto the leather and make sure that the diamonds are in between the two leather strips. And if you have a hard time managing the leather and the diamonds, you can have somebody hold them for you while you make a knot in the wire. Make a double knot to start. Pull the diamonds to the beginning of the necklace and I'm going to wrap the wire around each of the diamonds. I'm going to do it with my right hand since I'm right handed. Firmly, tightly wrap the wire between each diamond and do this all the way down the bracelet. You can position, continue to position the diamonds into the center part of the two pieces of leather. They will twist, so you need to keep repositioning them. Wrap, wrap, position and wrap, wrap. Once you come to the end of the bracelet, you make another knot. This will secure the wire and the diamonds and the leather all together keep your wire from uh, coming undone. Tie a knot and then wrap it around a couple of times and cut off any excess wire down the length of the bracelet. Cut off any excess diamonds that you have left over. Now your, your button should fit easily through the loop at the end. And your bracelet will look like this when it's finished. And slide the button through the loop 